Pete, what the fuck? What happened? What, Pete disappeared in front of you? Just come back here for now. A new case came, just came in. It's cause for concern. It could be related to what you just witnessed. Pete! What fucking floor are we on? Three, okay. reached the entire right side of the board. Ghost Cat Building. From Old Man Mizushima, presumably who we just saw. I've been looking for so long. My Miko, my poor cat. Please find Miko. And we get a memory up. I'm genuinely concerned. This case comes in from Old Man Mizushima. You might remember him as the one behind those four urban legends you recently investigated with your cult club members. I think I wouldn't mind this as much if it... I mean, I guess it's my fault for doing that one last. You know what? Never mind. My complaint doesn't... My complaint is not valid. Because I could have done those in any order. So never mind. If I'd done that one first, then it would have... Uh, whatever. It is well and truly a small world out there, even when it feels bigger than ever in some ways. Anyway, he's tasked us with tracking down his cat. Frankly, during times like this, there's something to be said for a down-to-earth gig like this one. Mizushima said he'd be waiting for you at K Cafe, though he didn't actually state when. It won't hurt to go on ahead and check things out at the cafe, so go do that. Okay. Are we going to have to fight Pete? Is his existential crisis going to drive him mad? Is he going to warp evolve into a black Galgamon? He's not, because Black Galgamon is not in this game, but... Pete? Pete, what are you doing? Feels like it stopped. I wonder if it was an earthquake. Hey, guys, is the old man here? Welcome, grab a drink, have a seat, stay as long as you like. Earthquake? No, I didn't feel anything of the sort. Okay. This old man Mizushima's not in right now. Alright. You already met him here early in the morning. Might as well come back around. Okay, I'll come back at 2 o'clock. you again. I've been waiting, you know. I've been waiting, you know. You stopped by yesterday afternoon but couldn't find me? You must have just had bad timing, kid. I've been waiting here forever for you. What's done is done. Let's just let bygones be gone. Bygones and start searching now. My Miko, you see. I'm, I'm not going to do his voice. Are you at K Cafe right now? I'm picking up readings of a really strong digital wave of really strong digital wave vibrations on the fourth floor. It's a really huge current coursing through there. My money's on that old time capsule being the cause. Is that why I'm feeling it? Am I feeling it as an earthquake? Because I'm a cyber entity? No, I can confirm it's definitely not. There's no movement here on the first floor. You're just, just sensing the intense digital wave. Pete, what are you doing? It's. I don't want to know, Uwu. It's better not knowing, Uwu. Things are fine just as they are now. It's better if they don't change, Uwu. Please stop. Don't wake me up from this, Uwu. It's Miko. No, I'm Pete, Uwu! Whatever you are, Miko, just come back to me. <coughs> what is going on? No, I can't. That's too much to ask of me, Uwu. I'm not. I have, please, leave me alone. 
Where things stay just the way they are, oh well. I'm sorry, Miko. I'm sorry. What the hell? Oh, did I finally get through to you again? The vibrations have stopped for now, but as digital waves are but the digital waves are still as intense as ever. Something big is brewing down there. As I suspected earlier, they're coming up they're coming from that old vacuum tube computer inside the wall. The digital waves are just gushing out of there from the old intranet lines that computer is hooked up to. So much so, in fact, they are forming a sort of cybernetic ley line, a digital line of sorts. If this thing persists, there's only a matter of time before its effects are felt in the real world. Well, here, I need you to go inside that vacuum tube computer and do whatever you can to stop it. I'm counting on you. Okay. Let's do this shit again. Please, where me be? Don't wake me up from this dream. Oh, well. What's going on with Pete? Only one, one way to find out. Alright. Please don't make us fight him! I don't want to fight Pete. Okay, I'm gonna be right back. Just give me a quick sec. I'll leave the music on. Okay, I'm back. Shit. Up. Oh. Okay. I'm guessing he's at the other end. rather than at these other, other dead ends. Did I- did I not fully explore this place? I'm guessing I can come back here later. Hey! Why- why do you have to know who I really am or what? No response. Let's find Pete. Don't make us fight, Pete!
How much memory do we have right now? And we've already used all our memory ups, yep. And we're gonna get one from this. That makes sense. <clears throat> There's him, but there's also a chest. Nope, we haven't been here before. Exploration time. We gotta, gotta get the chests. I need the chests. all experience from that, but oh well. <sighs> oh well. I think we'll start at the bottom back there and then work our way up exploration-wise. Since the very top one is where we need to go. Let's see, okay. Nakano Broadway Construction Part 1. Construction plans for Nakano Broadway, hereby abbreviated as NB, were founded in 1959, ultimately taking seven years to complete. The reason for the lengthy duration was due to a major issue that routinely manifested throughout the process. During land, land leveling, underground water leaked, resulting in an immediate halt to any and all work in the area. A large lake formed and the site was left alone for a long time. Mysteriously, large fish appeared en masse, attracting fishermen. Records also indicate people bathed in their bathe there in large numbers and that a child at one point drowned in the lake. Okay. Say something terrible happened. A strange Digimon appeared in the middle of my bed. It was so cold there. Even when I tried calling out for help, nobody came for me. But these two detectives eventually showed up. Kyoko and Mahira. Mahira asked me who I was, but I said I didn't know. So Kyoko gave me a name. She decided to call me Pete. Oh well, because I'm some kind of time capsule. I didn't really know if it was Pete or not. Yep, Pete, that's my name, Owo. Oh, it made me so happy to have one, Owo. Oh, Names are really special things to have. Got keyword, Pete. You already asked me this. Buzz Ox, oh, the... This one. Damn it. Mina, Did I have any water moves? No. Part 2. Glad I'm finding these in order. No blueprints exist for NB. 1961 saw the Japanese government com commence its income doubling plan in order to re-energize the post-war economy. Oh yeah, back when that was the thing. In tandem with unemployment policies, public work projects flooded the country. Well, major construction companies allowed huge budgets. Around 1962, one such project, the main route for the Shuto Expressway, was completed ahead of schedule. Uh, that, it was at that point that attention turned back to, towards NB. Idle laborers and res resources were funneled into the area from central to Tokyo, at which point work on the building commenced in earnest. It's likely that there wasn't enough time to even think of preparing proper blueprints for NB at that stage. Yoshito really likes this girl named Fuime Yuki. He always sits me on his lap and tells me all about her, oh well. Everything is perfect about her, he says, oh well. Her singing, her dancing, her looks, everything, oh well. 
He says she's one in a million. She's one in a million among idols. Oh, well. I can't do any of those things, oh, well. I can't sing and I can't dance, but what I can do is co up and fall asleep on Yosto's lap, oh, well. I love doing that. I just love hearing Yosto talk to me so happily, oh, well. Ah, oh, shit, I'm stuck down here now. Okay, let's go back out. Let's also put high encou uh, high, high security on. Otherwise, we're gonna get nowhere. Chest. And there's the next thing. Nakano Broadway Construction Part 3. With no blueprints to draw upon, Concrete was poured and rebar was erected, tailored to the land around the site. When construction was concluded four years later, the final building had three underground floors as well as ten floors above ground. Jesus! East Asia's greatest commercial building was therefore constructed on little more than sheer willpower. <coughs> this, how, however, this came at the cost to some aspects of NB's integrity. The escalator, for instance, only connects the first three floors. Most of the underground floors have also gone unused and ensued. So you know, such works are direct results of the circumstances surrounding the building's inception. Hmm. <coughs> Yoshito once told me that he and his son had been to a world's fair once a while. He said that the line we see the moon's walk was so... was wee wee long, so long that it made them tired, but he said his son still had a good time, oh well. Please, so people also call Yoshito Chief Mizushima. His full name is Yoshito Mizushima, oh well. Yoshito is a big important man in the computer room, so he doesn't get to go out with his son that much. Ooh, he's glad he got to see the world's fair. I wish I could have seen the world's fair with Yoshito soon, but he and I are always together in the computer room. Oh well, so that's okay. I'm content. We should save. came from that one, so I think next is this one. Yep, part four. In most cases, maybe, maybe these aren't in order, like it just plays them in order no matter how you find them. In most cases, large commercial buildings are run by their owners, who control everything from PRs to tenants and internal bylaws. BW was an exception to that rule. From the very start, shop and residential spaces alike were sold piecemeal. People who bought their real estate inside the building were then free to utilize it however they pleased. Because of this, soon after NB opened, shop owners and residents started remodeling work on, in their, on their respective stores and apartments. In the end, this meant that 
<coughs> formal blueprints for NB weren't drafted until eight years later after the building was originally completed. Even in those early days, the building lay layout had already become too unwieldy for anyone to fully grasp at that stage. Huh. Yoshito always has me sitting on his lap, hitting my head all nice and gently, oh well. I love Yoshito. Yoshito always calls me Nico. Nico is a girl's name, but Yoshito gave it to me, so I love it, oh well. Yeah, it ends- you- most Japanese names that end in ko are girl, women's names. I think it, it's- I think it's like the kanji for child. Miko- I don't know what Miko means. Yeah, Yuko, Miko, Makiko. It's all women's names. Part 5 Uwu. The basement of Broadway once housed a vacuum tube computer within its walls. It, has been, it had been brought into the building after the end of World War II by war criminals who evaded arrest. Shielded from the prying eyes of MacArthur's GHQ. The vacuum tube computer's purpose in those days remains a mystery. It's possible it could have been utilized for such things as mathematical computations or code breaking, but such speculation is unconfirmed. As time went on, there was eventually nobody left to carry on the original purpose, the originally purpose set forth for the terminal. At that point, the computer was apparently buried inside a wall somewhere. This Dalk in here. Old Dalk, I can't see a thing. I'm okay being in the Dalk, but I'm not scared of it or anything, but it's never been this Dalk before. Yoshko's not here. I don't even smell him. I can't go back outside. You're still where are you? You're still. You're still. Uwu. Please sit me on your lap and pet my head again, Uwu. Yoshito, Yoshi, oh. Was Pete a normal as cat who got buried in the wall? And so he became a Digimon? Now you know, now you know who I really am, Uwu. I'm... I'm... Pete? Oh Jesus. So it's begun. So I have to say, this is a bit more than what I bargained for. If this keeps up, the building's going to collapse. For sure. Ash is just like, what the fuck? So Pete was just a cat. And then they did construction on the building and didn't notice that there was a cat. And so they built a wall where it was. Who am I? Somebody, anybody, tell me. Ooh, ooh. Uh. Please, who am I? You're Pete. Pete? No, that's not white. That's not white. Oh, fuck, we have to fight him. Oh, no. No. Pete, why? Pete, no. Why do you know texture blow? Oh, good, it missed. I don't, I don't want to fight Pete. Why the fuck do we have to fight Pete? <laughs> no! Not the cat! Hey. Oh. Bro, can you imagine if that did like no damage to him that would have been that would have been scarier they should have done that he just not like no damage but really little damage so he's strong as shit why does he know texture blow yeah that's why my name is miko oh yoshito is my friend pete is your friend oh yoshito's calling out for me he's been looking for me this whole time oh he found me yoshito oh -oh. Ooh, looks like the terminus has stopped just in the nick of time, too. It's my assistant for you. You've done well, now I don't have to worry about any broken coffee cups. <laughs> Miko, Miko, it's really you! No, still, I'm so sorry. You've been waiting for me for so long, Owo. Oh, well. I should be the one apologizing here, Miko. 
I'm the one who left you alone this whole time. I'm so sorry, my friend. No, it's okay, Wee Wee. You don't have to be sorry. I know you've been waiting for me since the day you had to go away. Well. Oh, Miko. Thank you. If it wasn't for you, I'd have never lived to see Miko with my own eyes again. Huh? I should probably explain. You see, back when the vacuum tube computer was still around, I lived here in this building, away from my family. The computer room is where I used to work. The only family I ever had with me that whole time was Miko here. I talked with Miko about everything. My memories of my family, Kuyume Yuki, anything to keep my loneliness at bay in there. He would join me in the computer and we spent many, many hours together over the years. Eventually they closed down the room and sealed the whole thing off with a thick wall like it was never there to begin with. And they didn't notice that there was a cat. They didn't even bother to check if anything was there. D Surely they could have at least asked the old man, Hey, did you leave anything there? Well, there's my cat. Make sure you don't seal my cat in a wall. I had a bad feeling about where he might have ended up and came back here who knows how many times to rescue him. But in the end, I couldn't do anything for him. I gave up and, and over time nearly forgot about him. But I knew it, before I knew it, it had been decades since we'd last been together. I can't thank you enough for making this happen. We, wouldn't have, we couldn't have been reunited without you, kid. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now we can go back to living together again. I'll never ever forget this day. Whip. Bye, Pete. Pete didn't even say goodbye. I see. Nice work. I can only imagine how hard it was, but you did a really good job. So our Pete was actually a cat named Miko, sealed deep inside a wall, along with that old vacuum tube computer from the American occupation days. Fucking Americans! I blame them. They did this. <laughs> they murdered the cat! And somehow, using the building's intranet, or rather the power of its ley line, he merged with the computer and became a Digimon. That old cat's had a hell of a life, wouldn't you agree? We can't say for sure what the actual assimilation process entailed, but at this point we know better than to doubt it happened. It's amazing just how much and yet how little the digital and real worlds, worlds are siphoned off from one another. I imagine the reason Pete showed up again after all those years is because of the digital wave abnormalities we've seen. But you know, there's still something, one thing about the whole story that bugs me. What's that? You mentioned that towards the end, old man Mizushima said, Now we can go back to looking and get together again, you're right. What do you think he meant by that? I mean, he's taking Pete with him, isn't he? Not only that, but in the case you solved earlier when he was the one behind the urban legends, how did he keep breaking into the building? Didn't they leave it open for him? Are you implying that the old man is a ghost because fuck off, Kyoko? Let's assume for the sake of argument that he had somehow had access to the en entrance that let him come and go at, at the timing he did. If he'd physically been getting into the building so much that way that he was being reported, you think something would have gone differently? Any theories you'd like to propose? Just the Mizushima. If we looked into his backstory, we might be able to find our answers pretty easily. What do you think? Should we dig a little more? Please, weave us be. Don't go looking for us. Nah. It's probably best we do indeed let sleeping dogs lie. We could let the occult club kids know about this. They'd have a real- No! They'd make it worse! Not all mysteries in this world need to be solved. Nakano Broadway brings many things together. The real world and the spirit of the loom. The normal and the surreal. Damn it! Now the physical and the digital. I wanted to do it when the subtitles weren't there. Truly, nothing is impossible in this crazy hole in the wall we call home. Please don't progress the plot. Sleuth rank up! Top Cyber Sleuth. Do not progress the plot. I have- I, I- I would like to end the stream. Well, it looks like it's just you and me here. The couch looks so empty without Pete around. We better get more clients to keep them warm. Yep. Now what? Oh, damn it. 
Oh, Jesus. Sorry, but I'm in a hurry. I have a message for you. Come to Odaiba. Suedo said that the weakened Exmon will be heading back there. It's your chance to defeat Exmon. Help Suedo. Listen up, though. Don't come alone. Don't tell Kyoko or anyone else. Just you. See you later. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We still can't bring Megamon. Fine, Tyrant Cover Tyron, you come with us for a bit. Oh, actually, hold on, we should... Wait. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do any grinding, because he told us to come to Odaiba. Hold on, let me just... Because Odaiba's are, like, the best grind spot at the moment. Let's try it. Maybe he means go to where Examon was. Let's quickly try it, and if... If that works, then I can do some off-screen grinding. For a new Digimon. Okay, that's fine. I'll do that. I'll, do that. I'll decide on. I I don't think I'll do what I did with uh with Hackmon, and I'll just go for it, maybe, possibly, or maybe I will. Maybe next week I'll I'll pick someone, and then next week we'll convert him. We'll convert whatever the Digimon is that we need, and I'll do that on screen like I did with Hackmon. So. Cool. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'll get the... I'll get the screenshots. And I'll post these. Cool. Alright, so with that, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hit those subscribe and follow buttons if you want to support the channel and if you want to support me monetarily. The appropriate links in the descriptions down below. And I will see you guys... No, actually I won't because I'm going to be out of the country next week. So I will see you guys in... Let me... Let me just have a quick look. I will see you guys in three weeks. So the... 10th of February. So yeah. Once again, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hit the subscribe and follow buttons if you want to support the channel. If you want to support me monetarily, the appropriate links in the description is down below. But, and, but as always, your viewership is a good way to support me. Now we'll see you guys next week. Don't forget to FUCK THAT LIKE BUTTON! Bye!